Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Jones. And how much flooding we see again. High tide. Woo! Oh, I've been waiting for that all morning. All morning. Good times. Tonight, hours and hours after these early morning fires broke out, you can actually still smell smoke in the air. Talk about an early Christmas. A pair of New Hampshire grandparents are $2.4 million richer tonight. Just starting off with the basic step here. One, two, three, five, six. So it's a three part step. That's a cross body and a single turn. Great to see you again. Professionally evil is their motto and they live up to it. Foley was kidnapped in 2012 while covering the Syrian uprising. The Islamic State posted a video last week showing his execution. Our social media ambassadors, Mandy Bishop and Colin Hung. I'm your moderator, Beth Jones Sam. Good job, good job. This has been the first Him 17 social media debate. Thanks for watching. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Jones. Rain is heading our way and it could disrupt some weekend plans. Let's get right to your forecast. Here's CBS 13's Lexi O'Connor with what we can expect. Lexi. When coming up in my full forecast. All right. We'll be waiting for it then. Thank you, Lexi. As summer winds down, many parents are taking their kids for some back to school shopping, but stores are finding customers young and old are a little less interested in jeans. Julie Watts looks at why denim is fading. We'll talk about being in the right place at the right time. A lucky New Hampshire couple is leaving Las Vegas as millionaires after doing what no one has been able to do in two decades. Hit the jackpot on the MGM Grand's famous lion's share slot machine. The lion's share is the last of 50 progressive slot machines custom made for the MGM 20 years ago. The others were removed 15 years ago, but it stayed because no one had hit its progressive jackpot. Now it's also headed for retirement, and chances are that couple is too. Welcome to the HIM 17 social media debates. I'm your moderator, Beth Jones, Sam Bourne, managing editor of Healthcare Finance News. And back again, we're sort of calling ourselves the dream team at this point. Well, this seems very natural for wellness programs to come from your provider. You know, hey, I just saw you for this major surgery. Yeah. Here's this wellness program that we offer so that frankly, I don't see you again for yeah, anything similar absolutely. to what you just yeah. had done. You know, where should the overlap end, though? Healthcare crisis in Maine. Supporters say they want universal health care for all Mainers. Fox 23's Katie Sampson tells us how this is the start of a larger movement for change. Today, a spokesman for the Maine Heritage Policy Center told CBS 13 the Affordable Care Act disrupted the insurance market, increasing rates and negatively impacting businesses and individuals. Well, we had a beautiful summer day here in Maine, and the first part of the week is looking pretty good as well. Here's Lexi O'Connor with the first check of your forecast. Guessing that's good news for all the kids who are savoring their last few days before they have to go back to school. Yeah, I'd say it's nice timing. You know, yeah. summer's still here. Enjoy it while we have it. We will. Thank you so much, Lexi. Well, Scarborough police are warning residents about an increase in smash and grab car burglaries. So that wraps it up for tonight. So thanks for watching Fox 23 News at 10. Have a great night, and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 10 as well.